Hi friends! So today I'm going to have a review of the new Uber Chic um, stamping plate, which is called Party Time. Maybe you can see it down there. Um, so this is a st one of their larger stamping plates, their larger singles, and it comes with a bunch of different designs, some that are double stamping and some that are just single stamping, some really cute little words and stuff like that. I'm the most excited about these two images. Um, they go together, so you stamp in this one with one color and then this one with another color, and they are um, like a ribbon that has one color on the front, one color on the back. So I think I've seen that a lot um, with people who've been reviewing it. This is the one they all go for, and it's because it's really interesting. I've never seen anything like that on any other plate. So I'm really excited about that. I also love the wine glass and it says time to wine, which is amazing. Yeah, I mean really all of them are pretty great. I, I like these balloons. There's a These are a bunch of balloons here and there's also more balloons there, which is fun. There is basically stuff for a lot of different kinds of parties. There's cake, there's wine, there's balloons, but there's like, you know, it's kind of more generic. It doesn't say like they're not all like happy birthday or they're not all like congratulations. Like it's just kind of party themed. But yeah, so I'm going to show you how some of these images stamp on some paper and then I'm going to do a little tutorial at the end featuring this plate. So stay tuned for that. Okay, now I'm going to try stamping with this polish. This is the Color Club um, French tip which is a really great opaque white. Um, let's try this wine glass because, you know, wine. <laughs> so I actually picked up the image I didn't want. I think it's because I pressed the stamper too hard. Okay, so um, that didn't pick up very well. I then that's actually my third attempt. I was working really quickly and I didn't press too hard and still didn't pick up a lot of the images. So that's with like regular non stamping polish that generally does work well for stamping. I'm having trouble with this plate and the clear stamper. I'm gonna try it with the sticky stamper, but the sticky stamper is white, so it won't work. You won't be able to see it very well. So um, I'm gonna see what I can do. Let's try another image. Okay, so that worked okay. I'm going to stamp it here. <laughs> so the stamper is so sticky that I can't stamp it onto paper. Let me just stamp it onto the lint roller. So it picked up okay. So that actually gives me hope that this plate will work better. Um, it's You can see there's like a little bit of um, a gap in the top corners of that, but it picked up really well. So that was using the Sally Hansen Insta-Dry polish in the shade black to black. Okay, so I'm having trouble picking up images. I'm going to bust out the big guns. This is the Mundo Dunis polish in the shade dark gray. Oh my god, my cat is touching my toes right now. I, it creeped me out so much. <laughs> that stamped really well. I'm going to try to stamp, double stamp over it. I don't know if it'll work very well on paper, but I'm going to try it. So I'm just going to go grab another color. With the clear stampers, I like to actually saturate the image with polish. With um, regular stampers, you don't have to do that as much. You can just kind of drag the polish across, but I do find that it makes a difference with the clear stampers because they are finicky. So that worked great. 
Uh, let's try to, I'm not gonna, this isn't gonna be on camera. Because I waited so long, it didn't stamp very well onto the paper. Um, so it didn't stick. I actually placed it really well, or pretty well. You can see I fucked it up a little bit there. Excuse my language. Uh, the the polish just didn't stick to the paper very well. I am gonna use, I'm gonna try to use this one on my nails, which will work better. That worked super well. Transferred beautifully. Now comes the hard bit where I have to try to line up the gray with the red. Um, it's hard for me to do it on camera and show it quickly enough. Um, so I'm just gonna not talk and not try to show you and just try to place it properly so I, you can see what it looks like on the paper. Okay, so that is what that looked like. Um, it stamped super well. It looks really great. If I were doing it on my nails, it would be a lot easier to place. I'm sitting at a kind of a weird angle because I'm filming it, so I, and it, so it's not lined up properly, but. Okay, so I wanna just try one more image, um, one of the larger images. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do these balloons. Okay, so that picked up really nicely. I'm gonna try stamping it. Hopefully I didn't dry too much. No, that stamped super well. Okay, so you can see that transferred super well. It's really opaque. Um, the images are really crisp. So with the right stamping polish and stamper combination, this plate works great. And I actually think it gets performing well. Like I don't think that it's particularly difficult or anything like that. Um, I tend to only use these types of polishes, so I'm trying to use more just to give you a better review, but I I know I personally will be fine with this plate because I will only be stamping with these types of polishes. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Uber Chic Beauty Party Time stamping plate. I really like it. I, um, I did have some trouble stamping with some, with a lot of my stamping polishes and my stampers and I actually had trouble with these two images even with my best like with the cream of the crop best polish best stamper um, I did get, get end up getting a good transfer but it was tricky so some of these are a little bit trickier to use but um, in general they are great um, those are the only ones that I had trouble with the rest of them I had no problem stamping with these ones was harder than I thought it would be, um, especially trying to film while I'm doing it. Um, but it does end up looking really amazing, so I definitely want to keep working with those and keep, you know, getting better at doing the double stamping. The images are great. I love it. I'm really excited. This one, I feel like I'm gonna make it into a poop. Like I know it's supposed to be icing for that cupcake, but I know myself pretty well, and I'm pretty sure that that is going to be poop at some point. I don't know, it's really, um, it's a really great plate. I definitely recommend it. If you like parties and you want to have a great time, then you should definitely have this plate. It's great for a lot of occasions, and um, I don't want to seem like I'm being too hard on it. It's, it's honestly pretty great. Like, I would give it probably a B plus or an A as far as how well the images stamp. Um, so it's not an A plus, but it's, it's still quite good so it, it's really it's a good plate um yeah so that's it um thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and i will link below um all of the products that i used in these tutorials so if you want to check them out you can um yeah but that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time